Hi, my name is Mary Rasa, and the program I'm talking about today is called the United States Life Saving Service. And the Life Saving Service, Service was the predecessor of the United States Coast Guard. My programs can be done virtually for your organization through Google Meet or Zoom. They can also be done in person. They last between 30 and 45 minutes. My background is that I worked for the National Park Service at Sandy Hook, New Jersey. Uh, for 16 years. The first seven of those years, I had an office in the Sandy Hook Visitor Center, which was Spermaceti Cove Life Saving Station number two. The program goes into the important people, places, and events of the Life Saving Service, starting with William Newell, who was a congressman who got the first federal funds approved to buy any life saving equipment and structures. This graphic is a drawing of the size of those original eight buildings that were constructed. And this shows the equipment that was first used. The service originally was all volunteer. So in the event of a shipwreck, somebody may or may not show up to save people. And the equipment could have been vandalized. It could have been stolen by the time rescuers did come. So this became a, a huge issue leading to the creation of an actual paid service. So in 1870, with more and more shipwrecks happening, uh, public decided to come forward and say, we need an, a, a real service with paid people on our coasts. So finally in 1878, the organization of all these life-saving structures became known as the United States Life-Saving Service. The program goes into each type of life-saving equipment and how it was used. It also talks about the weekly schedules of drills and also important rescues that happened. The stations, um, the architecture of them was varied in the country, but also, several buildings were of the same style. So it's interesting, depending on what part of the country the stations were built, what type of station was constructed. And then we talk about the heroes of the Life Saving Service, the people who won the Gold Award for Life Saving. The Life Saving Service was absorbed and created the Coast Guard with the Revenue Cutter Service in 1915, and that is where the program ends. So if you have any questions, please contact me at beaconpointhistoryservices at gmail.com, and please uh, enjoy the other programs on my YouTube channel. Thank you.